Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to look at one of my favorite projects. It has had so much news in the background, but it is getting overshadowed by things like Dogecoin, a meme, a fantastic fun dog that's going to 30 cents. But we are looking at crypto.com today, which you can also buy Dogecoin on. Now I'm looking at crypto.com. It has had a ton of news, a new NFT marketplace. It has uh, 10 million users on their platform. It has a fantastic debit card that you can use anywhere Visa is accepted. It has partnerships with Visa. It has so much going on, which we're going to have a look at in today's video, but it is just getting swept under the radar by, like I said, crazy stuff going on with Doge, with Coinbase listing, with Bitcoin at new all-time highs, Ethereum new all-time highs and all of these huge crypto news headlines is just keeping CRO out of the spotlight but I don't think that'll be for too long especially when we have a look at the price chart so today's video I'm going to cover a lot of what has gone on with CRO over the last six months what they've been building what their price charts look like and what we can expect next so let's dive into it but before we do Hit the like button down below if you find some value from the video. Subscribe to the channel. Beat the scammers to the comment section with that bell notification icon. And join us on Instagram and Twitter for daily news updates. Let's check out what we got on CROcrypto.com. Starting off with something a little bit fun. We can buy Dogecoin on Crypto.com. That's why I was saying earlier, if we could blend Dogecoin, Binance, and Coinbase together, we would get something like CRO, something like Crypto.com. They got fantastic marketing. Their user interface is beautiful. They have a huge array of products which we're going to get through along with the news. And of course, they have beautiful Dogecoin here. Let's have a look at this crypto.org chain. What the hell is this? This is similar to Binance Smart Chain. So they've implemented this because of the escalating fees on Ethereum. And so when we can change from crypto, uh, the CRO token and the, the Ethereum blockchain, we can then migrate over to the crypto.org chain. So it's secure, instant, low cost, permissionless, open ecosystem. So once this catches on, I believe that we're gonna see a lot more news heading around CRO, around crypto.com. Huge benefits to migrating over to the mainnet, migrating the CRO over to the mainnet. You can set your staking reward at 20% per annum. Now, of course, these don't last forever. Like we've seen with CRO, which some people were pissed about, they start at high interest rates, but then they drop down as more people migrate. I think that's a fantastic marketing strategy. You don't want to blow all of your budget giving everyone 20% when you've got huge market share. So once you get that, start to drop it down, save the reserves for some other marketing venture that you're looking to go on next. Now, this is the white paper and we want to understand how crypto.com is going to continue growing. Their strategy, the tackling challenges above, uh, we are offering products along three verticals, payments, trading, financial services. So our strategy is to leverage payment solutions as primary tool for driving adoption and user acquisition. I like this because this is different to Binance. Binance is going after the trading and everyone's piling in to trade on Binance. Fantastic fees, not having to go at any of these other projects. You know, if you follow the channel, I love all of them. I think Binance is fantastic and I also love CRO. But we have very different market caps at the moment. So that's why I see a lot of upside potential for CRO. So this is a little graph here to show how it's going to work. But essentially, number one is payments. That's a good idea. Financial services. So they become a liquidity provider for other institutions. And of course, trading, because while I don't want to have an app or be able to use it, uh, you know, like a debit card and go and pay for stuff if I can't even trade on it as well. So I want to have a good app and a lot of good experiences on there. Their Twitter is massive. They've got 500,000 followers now on Twitter. Uh, very, very active and good support as well. Looking at this article, which we've covered before, but just to remind people, we're excited to share news of historic moment. Crypto.com and Visa successfully conducted the first settlement of transactions using USDC. USDC is on Ethereum. You know, I'm bullish on Ethereum as well. Crypto.com also have their old chain on Ethereum, but now they have their new chain, which of course is on Ethereum as well. They can be purchased in Oz on CoinSpot. So this is one of the few, I think, if only exchange in Australia. If you're in Australia and you want to purchase some CRO, this is the place to go. I've got a few hundred bucks in here. Look, for the sake of the video, let's let's buy a uh, hundred bucks worth. There we go. It's beautiful. Done. So now we've got another hundred bucks on here. I'll probably go back and finish off the rest of it. Uh, after I finish the video and you can buy Dogecoin on here as well. So if you want to kill two birds with one stone, CRO, Doge, 
all on CoinSpot. Go and have some fun. Crypto.com, the main thing I want to have a look at here is the market cap. We're at $6 billion. Binance is somewhere around 80 to 90 billion, just depending on its price, of course. There's a huge gap to move there if it's going to catch up to Binance. Now, I'm not suggesting that it will catch up to Binance, but there is a lot of potential in there. Even if we get to halfway, a quarter, you know, a quarter, if Binance gets to about 100 million, 25, uh, sorry, 100 billion, 25 billion, six to that, there's still four times we could look to move and it still be pretty reasonable market cap. We've seen crypto.com in the top 10 before. This was early on last year. So it's been there before at around position nine or eight. And when it was sitting at around two or three billion dollar market cap. So we're now at six and we've dropped back down to around 27. So I think this should be a top 20, if not top 10 for a period of time. But I definitely think this should be sitting in the top 20. Now let's have a look at some of the news for crypto.com if we have forgotten crypto.org chain so this is their roadmap lots of stuff going on like i said they got an nft marketplace which we'll have a look at it looks beautiful they have decentralized exchange with an amm they have a DeFi wallet as well like we just saw they've changed their chain over as well so it's going to be faster less fees decentralized finance and oracle so they're basically tapping in to every space in the finance world which is why it resonates a lot more with me. I'm more of a finance person and I prefer that over, say, more of the artsy stuff. I'm not, I have never been into the arts. Not that it's bad, it's just I want to stick to the stuff that makes sense to me. Bridge with Oracle protocols such as Chainlink and Band protocol to empower smart contracts. So decentralized finance and oracles. They are doing some live AMAs, always doing live AMAs with a lot of great CEOs, great companies, especially Carver, another project which I've covered on the channel a lot. So stick around on their Twitter to get updates for this. So I like that they are getting involved with the community and talking about other projects. So this is great to have more partnerships as well. Carver Labs, another favorite of the YouTube crypto community, shopping.io, crypto.com pay with shopping.io exclusive promotion. So you can basically get five, 10% off pay rewards. You're basically getting that back in CRO as well. So just from spending on your card, basically getting five and ten percent back in the CRO so you can start to build your position of CRO just by going out and spending essentially they're just working it like a credit card uh, but you're getting way bigger way bigger returns on the purchases that you uh, are doing and obviously that's part of their marketing budget so I don't think this is going to go on forever just as long as they can get to the massive market share then I think they'll start to drop that but I think it's a long way off especially when we only have a hundred million people in crypto in a world of close to 8 billion. Sure, half of them are unbanked, but let's go with 4 billion, you know, there's 100 million in crypto. They have 10 million on their platform. So we got a long way to go. Supercharger, Dogecoin, this is an old piece from February, but they have other features on the platform where you can stake your CRO. So there's a lot of uses essentially what I'm getting at here for your CRO that you purchased on CoinSpot for the Aussies or on the CRO app for internationals. Uh, looking at this, you basically stake it on their app and every 30 days there'll be a different coin that comes out and you can earn in that coin just from holding your CRO on the platform. So if you like Dogecoin and you're holding some CRO, you can put it to use and get more Doge. Next piece, uh, Crypto Tax is now available for the US. I thought I'd include this because it comes up often. People are often are wondering about tax and a lot of these exchanges, crypto exchanges, are a little bit difficult for people to understand their tax in. So crypto.com, knowing that they have made it a little easier for your cryptocurrency to file your taxes. Crypto.com, Paycheck it now supports native CRO on the crypto.org chain. So this is just showing that they've integrated their own chains with one another on their pay app. They are also looking at liquidity providing. So this is a way for them to earn uh, revenue, which is why it's here where I wanted to talk about it because a lot of these time, a lot of the time when you see these platforms that are giving out interest returns, you're wondering how are these guys making any money? So like we saw on their white paper, they're looking to be a payment gateway. So that's for the retail, it's for everyday people like us. And then they have financial services, which is another way to make money. So we're just looking at that here from FinX Flow. And so then now, now with whatever funds they have, they can provide liquidity to Finex flow. And that's obviously going to give them some more income as well. So they're really finding ways to bring revenue in, especially in this time when everything is very bullish and everyone is looking to make partnerships. 
Crypto.com coin price uh, has 18% upside. I think it has a hell of a lot more upside. This one is just looking at what has happened in the past. So April 15th, which is yesterday, um, CRO price trading at 23 cents, slightly below the peak. And this peak came at a crazy time when they went through their announcement of their burn. And I did a video on that as well. It spiked something around 24, 26 cents. And they were burning 70 odd percent of their total supply. So they had 100 billion CRO. Now there's only about 30 and a half billion with 25 billion in the marketplace. So there is quick maths, what about 20% left to be distributed, which is much, much better tokenomics than it was just three weeks ago. And so now that's been released, the burn has happened, price has started creeping up, which we'll have a look at right now on the chart. Dogecoin now at 28 cents, just so we have a little drop in here. 30 cents Dogecoin hit, wild. So looking at CRO, look at this chart pattern on the US dollar first. We are getting higher lows, higher lows. Fake out, broke the low here on high volume. Great news for a bullish case because we got a down leg, a big down move to try and wipe out the last of the sellers and it worked. Wipe the sellers out and then immediately reversed. That is a good bullish sign. We're now up and hitting close to new all highs, uh, all time highs here. Um, the spike came in at 27 cents. Now we're sitting at 23. We've been talking about this the whole time, the whole time, the highs and the lows. This was a fantastic accumulation period. No one wanted to talk about it then. That's usually the case in cryptocurrency, but I think this is another opportunity, another reaccumulation before a breakout. It's not a, it's not the lows here, but most people don't want to listen when it's at lows. Anyway, our opportunity now lies at a reaccumulation near the highs before the breakout. The other piece here is uh, I'm counting days, lengths of bull markets. This is important to note, just so we have an idea, do we have any time left in this move? The previous move from the absolute low, the COVID crash to uh, a major high, not the spike, but the major high when the energy started to run out was about 170 days. Now looking from the low to the previous peak was about, call it around 90 days. So from that previous peak, we're approximately 27, call it a month in. So we're about 120 days in, which gives us about 60 days, 50 to 60 days to go, which is about two more months. So at worst, maybe a month, at best, maybe two months, maybe longer. Nothing says it has to exactly live by this, but in the past it's done 80 days, 90 days. So it's got a nice 80, 90 day range, and then a doubling of 90 is about the 180. So it does have some nice patterns to it. And that's what I'm looking for uh, in terms of, I'm gonna look to see something happen in June. So for now, I still think there's enough time in the move uh, for CRO. And I definitely think we've got a good upside potential coming from this point. Uh, just recapping 10 million users. Okay, great. We've got that on CRO. Uh, the other things I wanted to have a look at. So we've looked at the news. We have looked at a lot of the updates, the price, time periods, where you can buy it from. My opinions, of course, looking at it in terms of trying to catch up to Binance, not overtake Binance. I'm not going to get in this whole killer path. Maybe I'll throw it into the thumbnails makes for some good SEO in the titles. But overall, this app is amazing. If you guys haven't used this, download the app. I've got a link to this in the description down below. And yes, there is a, an affiliate link down there. You'll get 25 US dollars of CRO and I also get $25 of CRO uh, if you use the affiliate code down below. But you can just download the app and start playing around with it. It works amazingly. Probably the best one I've seen on the market. So you can also earn in a CRO uh, on the app, you can earn in the token that you're holding, not in CRO. And then you have those features of between eight and 14%. The cryptos that are on the app, which you can earn interest on, a huge list of them here, I'm not gonna read them all out, but you can see they're up to 3% on these. Stable coins, 12%. So you know this is part of our strategy when it comes to earning passive income. I just put out a video yesterday, you can go and check that out. I'll leave a link to, the, to that video at the end of this video as well, so you can see what I'm doing here to get that five to 10% and how I'm uh, structuring that for my retirement fund, which is now around 300,000 Aussie dollars, uh, also in that video of yesterday. And basically, if you wanted to have it flexible, so you want to use your money, this feature on their website just works so seamlessly. If I've got USD and I'm going to have it flexible because you're gonna get a lower interest rate, I've got 5,000 USD on there. I'm gonna earn $400 per year, 8%, so around $7 a week. But if I 
lock it up for three months on the platform. Now I've got $600 at 12% per annum. If I'm staking 5,000 or less, then it drops it a little bit to 10%. So 5,000 or less, that's all you need to get the $25, but 50,000 gives you a better card. And that is what I'm looking for right now. So these are the, the cards and you've got different tiers as well. So basically these are all the features of crypto.com. I think this is fantastic. I don't, I don't see any other crypto out there that is doing such huge things. You've got other features, uh, other cryptos like Voyager or Celsius or any of these other ones. They're, they're a long way behind crypto.com. And I think once you start playing around with it, you'll definitely see that. Ruby Steel card, Royal Indigo, Jade Green. This is the card that I've got, which you just saw here. There's the, the blue card. Um, they've changed it as well. So you only have to have about $4,000 in CRO. This used to be a fixed amount of CRO. So as CRO, CRO rose, it would be worth more. So it was harder for people to get in. Now it's just a fixed dollar amount. So that makes it a hell of a lot easier for the retail person getting in now, getting in later. And with this card, you get Spotify off, Netflix off 100% and uh, airport lounge access. So if I went up to the next card, then I'm going to get one guest in with me in the airport lounge access. All really cool stuff. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, once you know we can get out and fly a little bit better. CRO rewards, 3%. If I move up to this card, then 5%. So that's all looking pretty sweet. That's the card. You can also loan money out. This is going on. They have so many features here. Most secure, flexible crypto wallet. They got DeFi wallet as well. And so if you wanted to get a loan, then you can do that in the app put down 10,000 bucks, get your $5,000 in a loan right here for 50% collateral. And like we just saw, they also have a DeFi wallet as well if you want to get in that path because you can import your keys from other uh, wallets and now you have your cryptos on the decentralized wallet. There is so much in crypto.com that still needs to be explored by a lot of people. Uh, the price chart looks fantastic. The news that has come out is fantastic. They have the NFT marketplace, which I didn't even cover here. So this is the NFT marketplace that you can just jump on to purchase any of these NFTs that you like. They have partnerships like you can see here with F1, with Aston Martin. The list goes on and I probably am only scratching the surface of a lot of what's going on with crypto.com. That is why I talk about it so much. It's one of the cryptos that I absolutely love and I have not seen it boom just yet. It has been increasing in price nice and gradually from that six cent low that we had a, a few months ago. Now we're sitting at around 24 cents. So pretty reasonable increase. Uh, I'm still liking the look of it. I love the product itself. So I think it's just over time, it's gonna be a great buy, especially on the Bitcoin chart as well. That's the last thing we'll have a look at. And if you want any of these links, they're all in the description down below. So you can go ahead, get your crypto.com card or play around with the app, get your interest earning on the app, get your $25 for free. You can purchase it on CoinSpot, which is also a link down below. You'll get 10 bucks on CoinSpot as well. So you can use that to go and buy CRO. And this is the BTC chart against CRO. So I, I think we've still got some upside potential to go here, especially after we broke out of our descending triangle on increased volume from the previous days. Thank you very much, guys. I hope you found some value from that video. I'll continue to look at crypto.com as I have done for several months, even years now. You can go back on my channel around four years looking at this card. All great stuff. I'll see you guys at the next video. Remember to like the video up, share, subscribe to the channel, bell notification icon. If you want to let someone know about crypto.com, share this video with them. Uh, it's a fantastic feature, especially for crypto. If you're getting in, you got all your Dogecoin. What the hell do you do with it? You can sell some off and buy stuff with your profits. Don't forget, we have a free newsletter with a newsletter coming out this week. Link is down below. Just put your email in, entirely free, crypto and personal finance. Check it out. I'll see you guys at the next video. Until then, have more fun to get more done.